I remember one of my found fondest memories doing uh, Navy training was getting up super early in the morning, meeting up around 4.30 or 4.45 a.m. to go uh, exercise and do your, your daily PT. And in Newport, Rhode Island, where I had a couple of classes, they had these big fields and it's just covered with geese and the things that geese leave behind. It's pretty gross. And uh, I remember once or twice, um, a couple of people kind of, I think, complaining a little bit in jest. And one of the instructors just said something, guys, this is awesome. We have the chance to do this. We get the opportunity to go and do this. Um, it was pretty cool. It was a fun uh, little bit of humor and, and uh, lightheartedness that he brought into that. And uh, there was something really awesome about the privilege of being able to roll around in goose poop at 4.30 in the morning when you weren't really awake um, with people you didn't really know too well. And to be in the company of great people and to be challenged to excellence. And I think that's really what sharing in the heart of Jesus, the vote of Mass we celebrate today on this first Friday, you know, that our Lord shares himself with us in an intimate way, becoming like us in all things but sin, and being able to bring about good, even from what is evil, sharing in all the intimate moments of our lives, even those places that feel um, kind of dirty or the places that are dark that we try to hide his light away from, that he shares in everything. He shares in everything with us. And then from that, we're able to share in everything with him too, even to the point of kind of having our hearts moved with what moves his heart, you know, that, that we get to do that. And there's something really good and beautiful about that. We see it in the lives of all the saints, how our Lord shines through their lives in a unique and particular way, that through the lives of every saint, every saint, he shows his attributes in a particular, unique, and un irrepeatable way. You know, and he wants to do the same for us as well. Um, so even when life is tough, or even when we feel almost afraid to let our Lord enter into certain parts of our hearts because, because he wants everything from us, um, you know, the great privilege and the good news is that you know, we have the chance to unite ourselves to him, to have our hearts beat in unison with his, now and in eternity. So we pray for that grace that, like all the saints, we hold back nothing of ourselves from the same Jesus who gives himself totally to us today, body, blood, soul, and divinity, and holy communion.